Yeah, so what every vaccine is trying to accomplish fundamentally is to prepare the body's immune system to respond and prevent infection should there be an exposure to an infection. Uh, you can have a live vaccine or a live virus or a live bacteria that's basically weakened so bad that your body mounts an immune system to it but doesn't actually make you very sick. Uh, we also have vaccines that are made from uh, pathogens that have been killed. Uh, so again, the body sees those, it develops an immune response, and then you're protected. Uh, we also have vaccines that take part of the pathogen, so maybe a little piece of it, and then your body builds a, 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 an immune response to that. In this case, the way that those particles of the virus are mimicked uses what's called mRNA messenger ribonucleic acid, mRNA. I have to give credit to, um, to one of my colleagues at, at the uh, FDA who, who, um, who basically uh, passed me a note and said, it's the, an mRNA vaccine is, is kind of like a email that you send to your, to your immune system and, and you're basically telling it how to make uh, an immune response. And what happens is, is the vaccine's injected to the body, it's taken up into a cell, but not all the way into the nucleus where the DNA is. It actually sits outside of that area. And that mRNA makes protein, and then the proteins are what uh, a, an immune response or a B cell or a, an, um, an antibody would actually fight against. And that messenger RNA is cop is used as the instructions to make some proteins for just a very little while. So in effect, Instead of having to make the protein in a, in a uh, biopharmaceutical factory, your body becomes the factory. mRNA vaccine is similar to a DNA vaccine. And both of these have been worked on for, for going on a couple decades now. Uh, early on, there were some complications with the DNA vaccine. Um, mostly it was actually um, sort of the way it was built. Uh, they found out that there was a little bit more reaction to it. DNA is obviously very important. It's the blueprint that tells our cells how to function. In this case, because we're using that messenger RNA that is only acting uh, in the cell but not inside the nucleus, there is not a risk that the vaccine will alter the DNA. So it only gets a really short time in which it exists inside your body and then gets degraded very rapidly. It cannot become part of your DNA. It can't get into your chromosomes. You know, um, it doesn't have that, that, that capacity. So, um, Maybe in some ways, instead of calling it an email, it's maybe better to call it a Snapchat. Uh, so in contrast to a DNA vaccine, where it actually could get into the nucleus and maybe have an issue with interacting with your genetic code, a messenger RNA actually doesn't get into the part of the cell that actually does that. Uh, so that's sort of good news uh, from that perspective. But it's just another way we, we actually build vaccines um, to be effective to preventing folks from getting sick um, and having disease.